They don't know we must survive Them do a new body Society dark, it dark, but them don't know me life Them don't know about it They don't know what sink and board But it's empty, guns them load Them street, yeah, tough like stone Make me tell about the place where me grow Every day, a damn full day Got the system a trick with from the worst day Me, me not work, me not get paid So no fuck it, no fit them, me stop to fool Behave, police lock me up without bail And I tell me, say, Monday I be parade And I got to give it every day When I start poor people alone dead Get up road, sink and board But it's empty, comes them load Them street, yeah, tough like stone Let me tell about the place when they go Get up road, sink and board But it's empty, comes them load Them street, yeah, tough like stone Let me tell about the place when they go Cause I'm not give me beer now Me want to be a lot to get me out of jail now So if it goes with me, you have to give me the high You have to quickly get them and forget it You leave it not staying down Me want some money, go out to have a alone. Me not buy nothing to put in a lot of jail house That means that I hear you, me want to stay out Cause if me go in, I'm not done, no, I can't Me call it, get up road, sink and board Pack it empty, guns them load Them street, yeah, tough like stone Let me tell you about the place where me go Get up road, sink and board But it's empty, comes them load Them streets are no flat stone Let me tell you about the place where me grow What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel I know, y'all see the video We are putting AC in the RSX It's just right now, it's about 119 degrees So I figured, uh I'll catch a little drifting Make the sun go down then I'll go in the garage. Uh, make sure you guys join the Discord. It's right up here. You know what I mean? Come drift with your boy, or we can hop on beam, drag race, do whatever. So let me knock out a couple more laps, and then we'll get back to the video. join discord i'll leave information in the description right there all right guys so this game right here is beam is my homeboy danny made the server is on a patreon i'll leave that in the description if you want to oh shit i'm blew up if you want to uh if you want to join it dopest server out there bro so this is my eg hatch B-Series all-wheel drive. Laptop at the bottom, dog. Oh man. Show you, um, show y'all the details in this, bro. Oh, top mount. Shit is crazy. That 
shit serious, bro. So these are just some of the cars you can pick and build. You got an EK here. You got all, all of these supercharge, all motor. You can build a shell. Street build K20. And you can fully build these cars, bro. Right now, actually, my favorite one is the uh, it's the EF. Let me find it, bro. Dog, even this Evo I got, that shit working. Got Super there, Super, WRX, MR2 K Swap, Starlet, Super, Super. Well, but this EF is the one I'm I'm really fucking with right now. Let me find it. This shit so clean. B series on boost. Dog, you got a shifter, bro. E brake work. All that. Working parachute. <laughs> Right, guys we'll be back on the set over real quick just gonna cut up for like five minutes and then i'm gonna jump in the garage you guys not into the whole drift you're not into the whole drag racing thing y'all like cutting up new traffic a settle aeo server it's just dope and also let me know if y'all want me to like live stream this on youtube i can like i like say fuck twitch and just go straight on youtube with it but let's jump in the civic real quick first of all we gotta give this shit some gary I'm gonna max it out. Tires on slicks, fuel, traction control off, turbo 40. No, on it, man. All right. S2000 cluster. And if I don't like the valve, this one. All right, so Off the trailer, baby.
more video games, more more drag racing, more drifting. Yo, low key, I ain't gonna hold you. I want to build a 240. Honestly. Like I said, you want to start drifting, dog. My first, for those who don't know, my first car was a, was an 80. Oh, they was making this cup, you up. My first car was an 89 240. Fast bad, baby blue. I blew up. I blew up the KA that was in there. And I was I was attempting to drop a uh, a, a red top SR20, but I was like what? 16? And I used to drift with I used to drift with that stock K that stock K uh KA. But low key man. I wanna build I'm gonna build a drift car, yo. Honda's is cool and they fun, but I'm trying to slide, man. Oh, 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 and up. Dog, it's still hot, bro. But let's get to the real part. Why you guys are here today? We will be putting AC in my RSX. Now, the previous owner, I don't know why they took it out, but they took it out. And I went ahead and I got the DC5 Creation V2 kit. Now, I'll leave all of this information down below in the description with links. But this is the V2 version. I know he has the V1, the V2, the V3, and I believe the V4. And that's for all like different setups. So I'm probably keeping this all motor. I don't know if I feel froggy one day. I might put a little, little supercharge on it. I don't know what I'm talking about. But. But like the V3 and the V4s after turbo stuff, you know, in the cooler and all, all that. that. I ain't doing that. But he has different kits for different uh, applications, you know, that you can retain AC. So what you get in the box are three, three hoses. Not, sh not sure where, where all of them go first, but this, this is probably your low side. I will be walking you guys through this whole thing. Uh, just, just to show you guys a comparison. Beneath this braiding, this is the actual hose. This is all made in the USA. This ain't no cheap eBay, no put together stuff. This is quality stuff you're buying. Got thick that is, what? Uh, yeah, she thick, yeah. Yeah, so these are quality hoses, quality parts tested proven to whatever psi i know it's high they don't say it on here but these are quality stuff you're buying and then this package right here let's take this out you get an air freshener you get a sticker these are the garments that's going to go in the holes that we are going to drill you do have to open up Two holes with a step bit these are your clamps that's going to run alongside the chassis leg fender well this is the fitting that's going to go to your what you call firewall and i believe these are some that goes on on the compressor and on the dryer or whatever this is probably to extend so DC5 Creation give you everything you need. The only thing he doesn't give you is the step bit, which I'll show you guys here in a second, which you can pick up from Harbor Freight. 
you can pick up from Amazon, Home Depot, Lowe's, a couple bucks. And it's a good thing to have in your inventory. So you get the hoses, you get the clamps, you get the garments, you get the bolts. Everything you need is right here. Like I said, I'll leave links in the description for you guys to get you an AC kit if you if you took your AC out and you want to put back or if you just want to get rid of that hideous line that runs over over the valve cover and and just clean up your bay. Like I said I was gonna do I went ahead and got a brand new condenser. I think I paid uh it was on Amazon actually all this stuff was on Amazon so we got a brand new condenser for the AC we got a brand new brand new AC compressor brand new AC compressor brand new uh I believe this is a dryer yep brand new dryer so we pretty much got everything brand new for this car because i need this ac pipe and i don't know if y'all can let me walk in the sunlight real quick it's hot it's hot it's hot first and first take off the bumper and the fender I believe that's first thing first removing those two I mean you got to get hair run the hoses and then the condenser and all that stuff is in the front the compressor you know so yeah anyways take off I, I, I don't know how y'all got y'all bumper on this so I got mine on Dude, if anybody has an 0506 OEM mint front bumper and back bumper, let me know, bruh. I need it so I can drop this shit off to get painted. Uh, I mean, uh, so I can get them painted. These shits are clapped, bro. Oh, uh, shit, the one I'm missing. The one I'm missing. GME, GME, no man. Kili kili season a go on One go, break out on an One go, ah, ah, blah Banana, click bend like a one Boy chop up, when he chop her turn on Band from the day when the band And rolling never go on You must see bad A we run it down Jungle list say a we run it down Send boy, pan if it's gully down Three west man a bus, boy head from a young man There's gonna be two holes. There's gonna be a big one and a small one right here inside of the, the wheel well. Uh, I got these from from Amazon a while ago. These are step bits. These are step bits. We're gonna be using the biggest one and hopefully it's big enough. So basically, you're just gonna ream out 
<laughs> you're gonna remote the <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> you gonna, you're gonna remote them two holes. <laughs> yeah, man. Remote the whole of them. Uh, I need my battery for this, but with these two holes, you're gonna just ream them out. Alright? Alright. <laughs> oh, gosh. They're gonna ban my ass, bro. Oh, yeah, my remote over them, yes. Oh, God. Fudge. Oh, that bitch dead. All right. Postpone. All right, so while the drill is charging, the whole purpose of this kit is to remove the factory AC lines and tuck it, have a cleaner bay. I am gonna paint this bay eventually, but meantime, I still need AC. But this is the low pressure line that runs over the valve cover to your compressor, which I don't have one there, so I have to put mine there. And then to remove this other line, and this is the V2 kit. So you actually are going to be relocating the dryer to this side the passenger side of the car. So if you want, you can start it. You can start taking the stuff off first. Make sure you drain it, bring it to a shop, something, have them vacuum out the Freon that's in there. Don't just bust open the AC lines because that's just gonna shoot everywhere. So have a shop do it. Sometimes they do it for free. If you know a homie or whatever, shoot them boys 10, $10 or whatever, and they'll vacuum the line out for you. So when you do go to open up these lines, it won't be a free, it won't be free on in there. And that shit won't just like, like fly everywhere. That's just very toxic. So first and first, we are going to be, geez, dark, so dark. We're going to be, we a bomb buckler, yo. We're going to be removing, see if, see if I can get the GoPro up in there. You're gonna be removing this, these two lines. So there's a 10 right here. You pull that and this whole thing, this whole thing comes out, I believe. So once you pull that 10 right here. And if, if you had everything else, you would pull that too. Difference with the V1 and the V2, I believe, is that the V1, you can keep, keep the dryer on this side but if you plan on going on boost sometimes the charge fight and stuff get in the way so i don't know what i'm doing with this car yet i changed that the seasons you think god damn it's hot bro all right back on the time lapse i'm gonna remove all of these lines right here well i messed that part up I was in time lapse and I thought I was recording regular, but uh, as you can tell by the time lapse video, you just take that that piece. It comes with the bolt, dab a little bit of oil around the O-ring, put it back in its place, and tighten it down. The fat side goes on top. The small small side goes on the bottom. So essentially, what's going to happen is that. The hoses are going to run from here right into the holes that we are driven. I will continue this tomorrow. The drill died again. And also I just realized I have to run to the junkyard to get get the AC compressor bolts because I don't have any. Yeah, so what I found out is that you need at least a, like a, like an inch and a half drill bit. I mean, uh, I mean step bit because mine's just too small. So it's bigger now and that's because, that's because I took, 
I took my handy dandy Dremel and I just kept walking it around, walking it around, walking it around, which is kind of better because the step bit was leaving, leaving like, like the shavings and stuff like that. So I, so this actually smoothing it out that you can rub your hand across it and you won't get cut. So I just took it like this and just open it up like that, which now is like smooth, bro. There's no jagged edges, nothing to cut into the holes and uh, like that. Then I don't think I had to do this, but I, I was kind of doing it when I uh, was trying to use a step bit. So let's just put this piece back because I was trying to get it in there without using the Dremel. That's good. And then same thing with the bottom holes. And then you would, I'm not sure if you guys would see, but you would connect the holes right there and run it through the hole. So uh, let's do that next. Start with the bottom one first. Start with the bottom one, so it leaves you room for uh, for the top. Oh, all right, all right, so we got the hole just ran through and let's put this to the side real quick. So in the box, you get some clamps and some uh, self-tapping screws, all right? So first and first, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna route this big one right here. One minute is hot, next minute it's raining. And then they get hotter because of the rain, which causes more humidity because of the hot and the water. It's like you're just sitting in the boiling pot, you know what I mean? And then it stops raining and it starts and blah, blah, blah. Florida sucks, bro. And this is the hottest summer ever out of 30 something years of life. This is hot. All right, so back to the car. I'm sorry, I ain't even gonna hold y'all. I did some shit off camera. I just had to, bro. I had to put the camera down and I had to just focus, put some music on, do my thug fizzle, you feel me? But I did went to the junkyard and I got the bolts I needed for the compressor. I did put the compressor in. And uh, and the condenser. See, you guys aren't gonna have to go through all of this headache that I went through because most likely you already have AC in your car. You just want to tuck it away and clean the bay up, which is a lot more simple than what I had to go through. All right, all right. So we're over here by the lines. I'm pretty sure I time lapse all of this, but those two holes. What I learned is do not mount these yet. Well, you can mount you can mount the top one, but the bigger one, don't mount it yet until you have it under compressor because you do kind of like have to manhandle it. Wow, okay, a little wrong. You do have to like be, <laughs> you do have to, god damn Fred. 
<coughs> you know what? <coughs> I don't even care. You do have to manhandle it and turn it a certain way for the fish. <laughs> Yo, fire. All right, all right, listen. listen. <laughs> Why well, I gotta be Jamaican, dog? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is bad. This is bad. This is getting bad. This is getting real bad. I don't care. I'm gonna just say it. All right. So, back to what I was saying. Don't mount this top one yet. You can like pre drill the holes and everything like that, but leave it loose because after you, after you get it out that hole and you run it, Running through the headlight hole right there. Like, yeah, you see it? You run through that hole right there. You kind of have to twist and turn to get it on, on the compressor. Make sure my camera on there. So you guys can see it. All right, so you have one big fitting that goes on the left side of the compressor right there you use your oem line from the condenser you don't even touch that just leave it there and then you put a you put a fit in right there on the condenser see if you guys can see that a fit in right there it is the l-shaped one so you really can't mix them up is the l-shaped one on the condenser which runs this line right here also your factory dryer that's on this side this is with the v2 kit your factory dryer that's on this side you're going to have to cut off the end of it and extend the wire it comes with the wire right here it doesn't matter which one is a blue is a solid blue and a blue and a white stripe just make sure if you put the red on the solid blue you put the red on a solid blue with the connector in. You get what I'm saying? So run that line, run that wire alongside here. And this is where I mounted the dryer. So, so the kit comes with these two, these two fittings, the ones that go straight up. You just pop those in there. Make sure you guys are checking the O-rings, okay? Check your O-rings, make sure they're good. Give it a little bit of lube. So it slides in there smooth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, but I'm on the road today, man. Uh, and this is where I got wire coming out of. And right there. I, I I believe I do have a factory plug here somewhere. Yep. So this was it right here. I had two. Cause I went to the junkyard and I cut some shit out. So, so what I did for the red, so what I did because this wire is red and black. So I put the red on the solid blue and then I put the black on the blue with the white stripe and that's it. So whatever you do there, make sure you do it to the connector and here. Uh, I am gonna get the battery relocate kit, which which sits right here. So I may have to move this out of the way and I'll reposition it and reposition it. But as of right now, this is where it sits. So this long line comes up here to the straight fitting. And then the line that goes from the firewall goes right here to the next straight fitting. And then, <laughs> sorry. And then you're all, uh, your pressure switch right there now the only thing left is to get a belt get the right belt and get the system uh charged up so just for a quick quick recap of everything all right now if you have ac already this is the v2 kit okay you're gonna be moving the dryer from there to there. The V1, I believe the dryer stays there, but this is because if you wanna go on boost or whatever like that, and then the charge pipes 
sometimes they get in the way, whatever. So you're moving all of the shit over there. All right. So if your car already has AC, you already have a condenser, you already have the compressor there, all that good stuff. You, what you're going to do, you're going to take out the factory lines from right there. And that runs alongside there to dryer. You're going to take all of that shit out. You're going to leave your compressor in, leave your condenser in. You're going to, you're going to drill. You're going to drill these two holes. You're going to route, route the cables over here. You're going to get to the compressor. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to put the big fit in, in that left side. You're going to put the big fit in. You're going to put the big fit in, in that left side, right there. You're going to use your OEM line on the right side. You don't touch that. You're going to put that L shape, the L shape fit in on the condenser right there. Run that line, run that line over. And then the two straight fittings are going to go into your dryer, which you're going to relocate right here. And then the wires, you just extend it over here. And that's pretty much it. So once you are done with that, and guys, like I said, make sure you double check your O-rings because I did have to pull off that main line, the low pressure line, because like I said, you have to like manhandle it a little bit to get it, to get it to slide in. The fitting did fall and I didn't even notice. I was working over here doing a dryer and noticed a green O-ring on the ground. And I was like, oh shit. So I had to take it back off. So make sure you guys double check your O-rings. Make sure they're not being pinched when you're pushing them in the hole. <laughs> Ooh. And uh, yeah, just double check all of your work. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start putting the fender and stuff and all that stuff back on the car to get it back, get it back complete. All right, so the fender is now on, and as you can see, how I have it nice and tucked up high away from the wheel. That's how you want to have it nice and tucked up all the way up. Don't don't leave it like sagging, because if you leave it too low, it could possibly rub on the wheel, depending on the height of your car. So I have it nice and tucked up for the self-tapping screws. Everything you need is in this kit it's set for the for the step bit else from that you get brand new bolt brand new o-rings you get all of that good stuff but it's nice and tucked up fenders back on lines are ran dryers on everything's tight only thing left is to get a belt uh vacuum the system oil it and restart and recharge Brand new condenser, brand new compressor. Everything's wired up. She's good to go. I need a RBC or I need an Ultra Screet. That stock intake yellow fold, that shit got to go. But that's from that, man, she's all good. Let me, let me get the wheel back on and lower it. All right, so I'm not gonna put the car down yet because my brake lines came in. So I actually got the car up on jack stands on all four because I have to bleed the brakes, but I'm not gonna like do a whole video on that. A few people asked me about, about the brakes and, and what type of brakes it is. These are TL Type S calipers. Wow. The same posted clock later, the dog. Every fucking time, yo. Janua star. Every time I do something, the other girl want to drive around, yo. That's y'all pre me that. Hmm. Sorry about that. Yeah, these are Tia Type S brakes. Uh, they did have the factory RSX lines on there, but the way they, the way they ran it, wasn't the correct way. It's supposed to go, go in front. They ran it behind, so it was rubbing on the axle, and causing it to, uh, to slowly rub the rubber down, and about the bus. <laughs> but these are. But 
when I change it to the stop tech, this is it right here. I'll give you a quick walkthrough. I'll give you the part numbers and all that stuff. So I so I am about to do this side next. Don't tell me I ripped the part number. I sure did. I sure did. But that's the part number right there. 950.4003. 950.4003. All right. That's the brake line. You get two of these. And you get the hardware. Like I said, I already did that side. I look at this mess, bro. I look how they had it. Look at that shit, man. Look at that shit. Look at that. So, I'm gonna pull all this off. Listen. Listen. DC Fire Creations sell this whole brake kit right here. I did not do it. The car came with it. It just wasn't done correctly. Uh, I don't know why they have a spacer. Maybe because certain wheels won't fit and they'll hit on the calipers. So there's a spacer here, but he sell the whole kit for you to put this on your, on your, uh, your RSX or whatever those, those newer Civics are, FD2, FD4, FG, I don't know, those newer Civics. But he sell like the whole, whole kit already in the box, made, ready to go, all right? And uh, you can opt out, and uh, you can opt in for still braided lines from him also. But I don't know much about this whole thing because I ain't do it. I'm just fixing what they fucked up, all right? That's it. We'll slap these brake lines in real quick. Will you look at that? Was that really that hard to do for safety? Like, bro, I can't believe the previous owner had the brake line running behind the damn thing, rubbing on the axle. We could have been going 100 miles an hour, press the brake, no pressure, that, that. Yeah, dead. That, that gun. The ABS wire was all zipped up and hanging and all. Yo, why, why zip tie the ABS brackets to the lines when when there's spots for it, for it to go? One goes right here on the leg and one goes on the pullover. Why zip tie it here and zip tie it there? I would have... Some people different, dog. Jano. That's it. That's all she wrote. I'm wrapping this video up. Y'all know me. I be making motion pictures. 25, 30, 45 minute videos. That's just me. But I'm tired. I gotta clean up this whole mess. Uh, probably gonna bleed the brakes off camera. Y'all don't need me to do all that. But I'm tired. I'm sweaty. I'm dirty. Still raining but the dc5 creation ac tuck kit is complete i ain't gonna hold you that abs is a little ugly i ain't gonna hold you respectfully the ac the abs is ugly as fuck so i might do that might do that yeah might do that uh might change this wire harness i i have to fix these uh Bro, listen, listen. They wired up the fan to a relay, to a switch, like a off and on switch inside the car. They wired up the fans to a relay, then to a switch. Just let that sink in. They ran the fan wires to a relay, then to a relay to a switch. Look on the mess, dog. Look on the mess. I got rid of the switch from inside the car and just took the signal from the relay from the power, the power of the fan. But I have to fix all that, bro. Like. 
dog. This why Hondas be having just a bad name out there, man. Because a little dumb shit like that, a little simple thing, a little simple thing. You know what I mean? Simple. Like if you gonna do it, do it right. You know what I'm talking about. So still have a lot to do with this car. I I want to bring this shit back up to Fred spec, bro. Tastefully modified. You know what I'm saying? But like little shit like that, that can't fly. That gotta get cleaned up. The ABS gotta get deleted. They gotta get repainted. Intake gotta full gotta go. No, I, mean, I got a lot. I'm not going crazy, but I want to do a lot just to bring it back up, man. Like, no, like I ain't look a simple thing, dog. You know, you know, little simple things, yo. So, uh, I haven't even driven a car yet. I'm gonna put the suspension on. Sure, I haven't. The next video, got this right here. Got some goodies from MPC. We're gonna be putting all of this good stuff on right here. I ain't gonna get too much into it, but that's gonna be the next video. I'm gonna bleed these brakes, do that next weekend, get the car, get the car aligned. Oh, shit. Oh. And clean up my garage. I'll leave all of the links in the description for where you can get the AC tuck kit. Uh, I'll leave the part number for the for the brake line just in case anybody wanted because y'all was asking me. And uh, I'll leave the link for his his big brake kit for the TL Type S conversion. Brimbos is what they are. And uh, and that's it, guys. I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna clean up the garage gonna take a nice shower be it eat and go on my bed because my work i'm on is well yeah all right appreciate you guys peace